the hits just keep on coming. So some of y'all may or may not have heard about this story, and I would understand completely if you didn't because it was kept kind of low key. But my people on Twitter, they keep me in the know as well as in the discord. This man's name is Chaz Foy, and he was an Indiana police officer. He literally got the job to be an Indiana police officer. And two days later, he got fired. Now, you're probably wondering, how did he get fired after only being there for two days? Well, it's because he reportedly was posting some anti-black posts and his job found out about it and he immediately got fired. Now, they actually did fire him like they're not transferring him to another spot. As far as I'm concerned, they fired him after only two days. Imagine you put all that work in to be a cop because I hear the process is like it's a long process. That's what I hear only to be on the job for two days. You didn't even you weren't even there long enough to uh, unlock any benefits. None just two days this is probably one of the quickest hirings and firings to be a cop ever that that has to be some kind of a record because you you wanted to be anti-black but let's go ahead and see what he was talking about and i'm reading this from huff post an indiana police department has fired an officer after only two days on the job for racist social media posts he made before getting hired so they made so he made these posts before he got hired, which to me says, did they not do a thorough back, a good thorough background check on him before he got hired before they because they could have easily not have hired him before they hired him. They didn't have to go through the process, but it is what it is. Or maybe they just wanted to embarrass him. Who knows? Chaz Foy started working for the Marion Police Department on Monday, according to a Facebook post, but was fired on Wednesday. Police Chief Angela Haley said in a statement, Haley says some racist posts on the officer's personal Facebook account were brought to her attention on Tuesday. After she reviewed them, she said she determined they were not in keeping with the standards of the Marion Police Department. I do not condone this type of behavior and will not tolerate it, Haley said. Marion based news outlet Channel 27 News and Entertainment for Grant County said it initially received the officer's post and forwarded them to the police department on Tuesday night. In one screenshot shared by Channel 27, an alleged post from June 1, 2022 showed Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin kneeling on George Floyd's neck. The caption read, with gas hitting $4.89 and climbing, let's all take a moment to appreciate the better times. Another screenshot shows an alleged post made by Foy on April 13, 2021, in which an illustration of a black man was labeled Martin Luther King. Huff Post has reached out to Foy for comment, and then they put down his termination statement, which I'm going to read for you right now. And it's dated June 7, 2023. On June 6, 2023. It was brought to my attention that there were some racist posts on Officer Chaz Foy's personal Facebook account. I reviewed those posts. Those posts are not in keeping with the standards of the Marion Police Department. I do not condone this type of behavior and will not tolerate it. On June 7, 2023, Chaz Foy's employment with the Marion Police, Depa Marion Police Department was terminated. Signed, Angela Haley, Chief of Police. Now, I will play. I will give them th this one out. One thing he probably could have did to keep those posts hidden is he probably could have made his Facebook account private. You know, where only certain people could see his posts and maybe not his job. And then after he got the job or maybe after he went through the training, he made his post public again. And then that's where, how they were able to retrieve it. That's the only way I can say that they did not know is if he made his Facebook post private before he applied for this job or before he went through the training or whatever. And then they didn't, they couldn't see it. The only way you see it is if you are mutual friends with this person, that's how Facebook works. And the, and then he, they found out about it after he made the page prop a uh, public after he got the job. See the internet is forever. He, these are posts that they got him on from last year and the year before. This was nothing he said this year. 
And that's why a lot of them think that, oh, they're not going to catch me. <laughs> you must not know. But I actually do applaud this department for firing him, considering the post that he made, because that means he came into this job already with an anti-black bias, which also lets you know that this department is making sure that they don't have someone in there that's going to go out and act on the things that they do. Keep in mind, this guy just got a job as a cop. One of the posts was about Derek Chauvin, who was a cop. And then some other ones as to, uh, you know, the one that happened before that. This means to me, when you look at those posts and you look at the job in which he got, he already had a plan in motion that he was going to do this to a black person. He just needed the job in order to do it. That was his springboard, his launch pad in order to act out in his anti-black dub S. Like, see, I I'm figuring all of this out right now. And the thing is, that's why a lot of them become cops. Because they figure I can't really get that far as a civilian. So let me go do it as a cop. Because what they do is they look at what's going on in the news and see how so many get away. And then they figure, you know what? If I become a cop, maybe I can do the same thing. Even if I don't get away with it, at least I have fulfilled or, some, or checked something off of my bucket list of harming a black person. That's probably the, a fantasy he had in his head to be a cop to harm a black person, probably in particular a black man. Well, now he will not get the opportunity to do so, at least not as a cop in uniform. So that means people need to keep their eyes out for this dude right here because he pretty much told on himself of what he was going to do or what he planned to do just based on the Facebook post that he made and the fact that he became a cop. So we knew what his motive was, but guess what? Just because he's not going to be a cop anymore, even after only two days does not mean he's not going to try to act on his fantasy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>